In this video, I will show you how to create a personal email agent using LangGraph. And the primary purpose of the objective of this agent is to help you reach that thing called Inbox Zero. So what I'm going to do with the agent is read my Gmail emails and categorize them, analyze them, categorize them, and put them, label them as uh, emails which should be unsubscribed to. So that's what I'm going to do. So before going there, I will um, walk you through the pattern we're going to use. This is the same pattern I walked you through in the last video, which is this building block, right? So an LLM which can talk to tools and work with uh, memory and do relevant retrieval. That is a building block for an AI LLM agent, right? So here I'm primarily going to use the tools. Uh, the tool I'm using is Gmail API to get the emails and I will be using a state within LangGraph to go through it. Now let's talk about the workflow state within LangGraph. So this is uh, uh, LangGraph would have workflow and workflow nodes. So I have an initialization state which reads the emails from Gmail. It manages the state in something called an email state. It was pretty obvious. Then I have a next node called prefilter which is a smart node. I call it a smart node because I don't want to use OpenAI all the time for analyzing my emails. I have a very easy to understand list called safe emails list, which is any email comes from LinkedIn or my bank like Chase or my mortgage emails all goes through this thing. And then I put also hard code regexes, right? Regular expressions where I can say, if I get a survey, I don't want it. Just let's see if you can unsubscribe. After doing that pre-filter stage or node in land graph terms, I will go ahead and analyze. And in this case, I don't know what to do with these emails. I'll ask OpenAI to take care of it. And then I close. I'm done with the workflow. So let me go straight into code. Let me go straight into code. What I have is two uh, classes, an agent spam handler Python file and a Gmail reader, which is the tool itself. The Gmail reader tool includes all these um, classes, Python code, I'm using Google API and based on Google API, I can easily import or get these emails coming from that. I have to define the scope when I do Gmail. So I have to say, you know, I need to read uh, Gmail, I use labels, I need to modify Gmail, right? So all this thing uh, is important before you can actually use the Gmail client library, right? Gmail clients. Let me go into Gmail right now quickly. <clears throat> so you need to set this up, all the scopes. Right, so uh, you have something called API OAuth edit app um, registration and you have to set these scopes up. So you have, like I said, um, uh, you need permission to set up draft, which is a non-sensitive scope. You need, able, you need the ability to modify labels, which is also non-sensitive. And some sensitive where you have to send email. I'm not sending email in this, e in this agent. But most important is actually this one where you, you should be able to view your email and settings, which is this restricted scope. Let me stop there for a bit and run this code. I mean, I don't want to um, delay that any further. So I'm going to call my agent spam handler and I'll go, that, go into that code a little later. But let's say Python uh, agent spam right handler. And I'm going to run that. While I'm running that, I'm going to give you an inbox view into what my Gmail looks like. I have 163,000 um, emails and some of them are going to be spam classified. None of them are classified now, all my inbox. Let me go there. It's started looking at safe emails. Like I said, scored it, low score. It's kind of my hardcore rules. And then it's doing an analysis on 22 emails. So you see this thing, it's doing this while it's going through this. I can see if I do a refresh here, I should see these things starting to get labeled. Unsubscribe label, unsubscribe Tory Flipper. I guess it's a flipping website. Expedia unsubscribe from that. You get that. It's starting to la label these together. I got how many? How many did I get? I had, I'm still doing some more. AI confirmed, post request. I just did uh, label spam. Let's see what it's called. Get video IQ boost for only $1. Let's see if that is there. Just to confirm, video IQ, V-I-D-I-Q. Yep, uh, that last one, I just did the, as you see, it just did one of those emails. I just picked up 
today's email and it's asking me to unsubscribe that, right? Pretty cool. Um, let me go straight into the code now. In the code itself, I have a Python code, which is agent spam handler, and it's using um, Langraph, the Gmail reader, which I just showed you, which the get today's email logging. I'm not going through each and every code, but uh, let me talk about the state itself, the state, uh, the email state, the email state, well, like I mentioned, is very unique to Langraph. You can manage state across different nodes. I have emails, I have an initialize that it gets today's emails. I have a list of safe emails, spam emails, uncertain emails, API calls, and so on. Okay. And then I also use labeler to label or mark these emails, which are finally coming through as unsubscribe, right? So. Uh, here is my pre-filter state, which is basically all the domains, which I think are safe domains, as you see, safe domains. But most importantly, let me go through the workflow state, right? So the workflow, when you run the workflow, I have a state graph, I have an add node, which is the pre-filter stage, or the node, analyze and end. And then I can add edges, which is from pre-filter to analyze. From analyze, I can say, if I have to continue, you go, uh, go back into the same loop, analyze the thing again, otherwise you end it. So you have like a conditional edge, we can do these conditions, and it makes it pretty straightforward. And the good news with Langraph, like I said, you can manage states, you can um, manage nodes, you can manage states, you can do exception scenarios, in this case it's a conditional edge, you can do all that. So I'm gonna stop here, I know you want access to the code base, just ping me, I will send you these files. So there's only two files, Python files, a Gmail reader file and an agent spam handler. If you need any help, just ping me. Okay. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.